Welcome to Luxon Photography and to a camera lens system review. I got with me here the Lomography Neptune. Let me say it correctly. Welcome to Luxon Photography and to a photography lens system review. I have here the Lomography Neptune convertible lens art system. So I have here two Canon cameras, uh, RP and a 62, and there are two lenses on it that look very different than what you're used to see. And the reason is the company Lomography reached out to me, sent me an email. If you have a YouTube channel, every once in a while there comes an email by a company asking you to, if you'd like to test out some gear. And very often it's not so interesting for me, so I don't do that. But this company, Lomography, I had the first contact with products from the company seven years ago or eight years ago in 2012 maybe when Anna and I went for a holiday trip to Düsseldorf and we went into a photography store and I bought a Hol Lomography Holga camera in green. This is an analog camera, a fun camera with you get crazy images out of it, a plastic camera. So this was the first contact I had with Lomography and over the years I've always looked at the products from the company from a distance. So there are two photographers in me. There's the working photographer that has his Canon equipment and that's the camera system that I use and I have the cameras, a couple of them and the lenses and I don't need anything more. This is what I do for my job photography. But then there is Dioxon, the guy that loves photography and loves to experiment with it and loves different. Different can be to photograph with an analog camera. Different can be to get, uh, let me just see it here, a digital medium format camera. So different is everything different than what I used to shoot. And the Lomography stuff was always nice because they have all these crazy fun stuff to play around with, with a crazy blurry background. It's all analog, uh, it's, it's all manual focus but you can get some crazy images out of it. You got the tilt shift look. So there are many different lenses that I've always looked at, but always from a distance. Now as they reached out to me, I was really happy to have a chance to test out the lens system they now have here with the Neptune. What this is, now first of all, I have to pay, I have to pay tribute kind of to how beautiful the packaging is. I mean, when you look at camera lenses and the packaging, it's often more practical. Uh, when you open it, you got the lens and that's it. When you open this one, what you will actually find is a book. And when you look through this book, you will find many images that are taken with these lenses by real photographers. And this is a really beautiful thing. But the first thing I did was sit down and spend the time and look at every single image in this book and this is really really beautifully made and this is the first contact that i had and it was a really positive one because this this caused energy and effort to do and this t shows that someone cared and this is the first start that i had with this product now what this is you see it actually here in the image it is a whole lens system so you have the mount and you put that mount onto your camera let me just show you here's the camera here's the mount I put the mount on my camera and now there are different lenses that I can that I can put onto this mount this one there is a, I have here the 35 3.5, the 50mm 2.8 and the 80mm f4. And let me just show you a couple of the shots. So I took these lenses out. The first thing I did was to photograph not moving stuff, so still life photography in a car show. So I photographed cars, old cars, beautiful cars, indoors with these manual focusing lenses. And let me show you what I got from that day. Mm. 
Now the images you've seen, I've edited super quickly with my preset pack, so every image is edited in a couple of seconds. This is not um, this is not deep editing. It's just select the preset, copy it to all images, straighten the horizon, nearly that's it. And I'm really happy with how the images look. They have a certain feeling to them. And I've edited the images in a couple of presets. So the images that you see in this video are very different from each other. Sometimes I edited 10, 20, 30, 50 images in a way and the next 50 images in a total different way just to have a variety for myself. All these images were private fun images. There were no job images. So I could do whatever I like to the editing process. And one thing shooting manually, I think one, one thing that is very important is to get to know your camera. And uh, I did not I did not photograph much like this, looking through the viewfinder. I always use the screen here. And the reason is, with the 62 and the EOS RP, I can easily focus on the point that I want to focus on and zoom in on it, so I really see if is the focus on or not. Because often I did shoot wide open, I shot at all aperture. I shot wide open but also closed the aperture to get everything sharp and test it out because I didn't know to go, do, will I get sharp images at all because I'm not used to photographing manually and will I be happy with the images when they're not in focus and I, I got pretty good result photographing these cars and so the next thing we did was we went to Spain just for the weekend so to say and I took Two, I had three lenses, 35, 50, 80, and I took two lenses, the 35 and the 80 millimeter to Spain. And here I photographed a couple of things. I photographed the scenery, the landscape, but I also photographed my son walking around, a little bit my girlfriend, and I also photographed myself. So I put the camera on a tripod, put the screen around so I see myself, and used a remote control to take pictures. Now when I did this, I had to be on a spot that I pre-focused on before and then stood myself onto that spot and then took the picture by pressing the button on the remote control. And having now edited all these images, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the results. The images have a certain feeling to them and I've taken images at these places now for a long time. So I've been to these beaches 40, 50 times in the last 10 years and every time I'm there I take pictures of them. Whether it's the Hasselblad medium format camera that I bring, whether it's a Canon 5DSR 50 megapixel camera, whether it's the 85mm 1.2 lens, I've used all my lenses on these beaches. So I did not expect these lenses to bring me images that can that can be compared to an 85 1.2 lens which is nearly 2000 euros just because of the price point but when i look at these images they all have some kind of what's funny art in them and this was not what i expected and i'm, I'm i really like the images that i got from these two days in spain and also, the focusing got pretty good. I think one of, one of the very important things is to have a camera that helps you focus right. If I do only use the viewfinder here and look through it, it's not accurate enough. I cannot really see when I am in focus. Maybe my eyes are bad, but it's much easier to use the focus here and zoom in on it and just make the settings right so you only have one button, press one button, and then you're already zoomed in on your focus point. And this way, it's very easy to focus. You have your focusing ring here, and you have the aperture ring here. And, you know, I said in the beginning, there are two photographers in me. There's a photographer who does photography as his job, also with passion and love, and as my dream. But it's all, if you look at, my, at me from the outside, you say the weddings, the people photography on the streets, that's, that's his job, that's his income. And then photographing scenery, doing this YouTube stuff, photographing his girlfriend, his son, his, himself. That's his passion. That's his free time stuff where no payment comes afterwards. It's just the emotional reward. 
It's not the financial benefit I get from taking these pictures, it's the emotional benefit. I had a great time using these lenses, they are very lightweight, it's a very cheap system if you consider that you actually get a couple of lenses with it and you can, you have a wide angle, a standard lens and a small te telephoto lens. I mean this is an 80, this is an 80, let me just see which one is this, this is an 80 millimeter f4, I mean it's super super small and lightweight and so as a private person, not as the business person who has to deliver, like on a wedding. I would not use this on a wedding. Uh, if I have a, a photo shoot in a company where I do portraits of all the employees. And uh, so yesterday saw a company called wanted 35 portraits, uh, portraits of 35 employees. Then I bring my Canon camera, my Canon autofocus lenses, I know exactly with the lightning, that's the job. But this is the fun part, this is the holiday, this is the traveling, this is me taking pictures of my girlfriend. For this type of stuff, I'm always looking for something different and I've really had a great time with the uh, Neptune camera lens system. And yeah, this is my review. I always want to focus on the images. I don't want to take too many images of these lenses and put in here so you see the lenses. I want you to see the images taken with the lens. My girlfriend, my son, myself with the remote control landscape cars. That was it. Thank you very much. So now let's take a look at the images on the bigger screen. I'm now here in Lightroom and what we see now are actually the edited JPEGs that I re-imported into Lightroom and I do this to get images into black and white very very quickly. But first of all, let's just take a look at these images and I think it's a little bit nicer to look, to look at the images like this where you um, have more time for every single image. It's easier and I think nicer to have the images full screen and not me behind the image. Okay, so this was actually the very first time that I picked up the lens system and tried to take pictures and I thought it is a really great opportunity because I usually don't photograph manually and this is a place where nothing moves. So all these cars are still. So it's, it's, it's uh, for me who was still slow, I, I first had to find a way to photograph manually with my camera, the RP and the 62, and I had to do some changes in the menu to do this very, very quickly. So I can with one click zoom in on the point where I want to zoom in on to get the focus right. So I was just experiencing while I was walking around these cars here, and as these cars don't move, they, are, they have the same light, they stand where they are all the time, so it's easy to photograph something that doesn't move. So it's, it was a really nice first experience using this lens system. And I'm really happy with the look of these images. I think they, of course, I edited them, so uh, they have a certain look anyway. But when you look, for example, here, now you have these um, elements um, because of the lens and the accessory that you put into the lens. So these things can change depending on which, uh, how you want them to look. And when I say I really like the the ethics of the of the aesthetics of the lens, I mean, look at the out of focus blur areas. I think this is a really nice uh, thing that you can actually uh, focus on. Is imagine you do a photography project where you want to where you focus on having not focused areas like this area I think looks really nice um, and so it or the wheel here I think the, the wheel is not moving but it, it has some dynamic in it and I found that the areas the images when I when I on purpose was focusing somewhere else in the frame so nearly everything looked blurry I get some really interesting results with it and I think this could be something that you could actually use as a photography project, as an art project, where you on purpose don't want to get things sharp but you want them out of focus to get that dreamy look. 
Here, for example, you now see the other element. I changed out the element, and so the blurry uh, areas now show a teardrop instead of the other element that we had before that. So you can switch out these elements depending on which one you'd like to see. So now we've seen the colored images edited very quickly. I have here my Lightroom preset package uh, on my left. So every image I edit, I edit with these presets. And what we see now here is the, uh, it's all edited JPEGs already. So this is not raw. It's not a raw file, it's an edited JPEG. And so when I edit images, I always choose a preset from the from my left side. You can get all these presets you see here uh, on my website or in the description below. Let's make these images black and white. So we have black and white, black and white burn, black and white two, black and white three, or also sepia vibe, or maybe we choose sepia. So I have now used this preset and now I copy what I did to every other image, synchronize everything. And what happens now, all the images that we just went through, they will now be in the same look that I just chose, the sepia look. If the images are a little bit too bright, I can just change that, synchronize again. So all images should look fine now. And this is now a really super quick way to get images in a certain color. For example, sepia, black and white. And this is how I edit every black and white image. So all wedding images I do uh, all, are always also in black and white. And the way I do it is like this. After I've edited the images, I re-import them into Lightroom and then choose a preset from my list here and just put that on the images and then synchronize so all images have the same preset applied. And then the images look just like this, which is very different than the colored ones. And if I don't like this look, I can just get a black and white look, for example. Let's get, let's get black and white. Maybe change just a little bit, synchronize again. And now all images we will now see in beautiful old vintage black and white. And it does make sense here because these are all old cars. So it does make sense to have a dirty image. So when we actually go and print these images, they might seem like they are from uh, many years ago. So as I had two of these lens mounts, I could put one on the EOS RP and one on the Canon 62. So even the images where you see the lens and the, on the camera, I took with the camera sys lens system. And so let's just take a look at the images here in Spain, just in a little bigger view. So <clears throat> you don't really see the settings that I used. You see the ISO, you, you see the shutter speed, but you can't see the aperture as it's not recorded. So I used all apertures all the time. So when I photograph buildings, I usually uh, use an f-stop at around f8 or f11. And when I'm wide open, that's when I photograph people. And uh, I can't tell you which f-stop I used here. You just have to uh, live with the fact that you, you never really know which f-stop you used unless you take notes. So maybe you, or, or you make a clear decision to photograph every building at f8 and every person at f2.8. Um, but it, I'm really happy with the images, even with the photographing people when they're moving. I mean, this is not perfectly sharp. He's out of focus. The focus is more here, but still, I think it's a, it, it, it works. I think I got some really nice shots here, which are not totally in focus, super sharp, but it's also not the lens or the approach to do it. When you want to photograph people moving, shooting manually is not the easiest thing and this was still just the day after the auto motor show so it's my second or third day with the lens system at all so i'm still a newbie to photographing manually 
and to see the where the focus is and to I think it's also a muscle you train the muscle people who photograph with Leica I know some that photograph pretty quickly and uh, they have no problem getting the focus so I think it's it's also a habit now I really like the look of this image the blurry part and I've been to this place a lot and I really like how these images turn out so I can really see the description art in the image with the blurry parts and it has it has a warmth to it now of course these images are edited but even unedited you you will notice it and talking about sharpness being able to focus on what I actually want to focus on I'm pretty happy as I said I was still learning while I t was taking these images I was still learning how to use the autofocus best manually on the camera so the camera has a lot of help uh, the modern cameras help you a lot um, and so it's easier to focus manually than with cameras that are much older but you have to get into how to photograph for example here I I missed the focus but I thought I had it and now looking at the image like this here is sharp the face of that figure is totally unsharp but I want to show you these images just so you get an idea of what you can get with this lens and overall I did not photograph that many days I've had now the lens for maybe two or three weeks and I've also photographed more than just Spain and the photography uh, the, the car show but I wanted to focus on that because um, that was where I photographed most in a short time frame and so I just focus the review on this okay so shooting in, into the Sun it's also not so easy to get the focus but this is with any any lens okay so I the idea of this is to show you it just what you can get out of it here's some more shots wide open see the blurry background and it's also possible to focus on something very very tiny like this is like a hair you could say and you see the blurry background now all these images are final final edited JPEGs and I wanted to test uh, and I edited every image kind of different so maybe I took 20 30 images and edited with one preset and then the next 20 30 images with another preset so all these presets here on the left are from my preset pack and uh, so all images you see in my videos are edited with these presets and you just click on one and then it will be applied to the image now the image that I have here is a JPEG but still you can get do a lot of editing or use a preset to get a different look to the image okay I think you get the idea here this was a moment where it was a little bit fast moving so my girlfriend is moving around with our son and I thought I'd miss a lot here because I was still shooting wide open so you get the blurry background and only you only focus on the two on the relationship of the two not on the stuff in the background and I think I got some really nice shots here I mean it's different when some when the kid is sitting on the beach and not moving it's easier to get the focus than in a situation like this where they are dancing together kind of okay so I think we got some you got some idea uh, of what you can produce with these lenses and I hope you enjoyed this review